welcome back to Schnurtcast. No, <laughs> gonna paint some pictures. <laughs> We're gonna paint some pictures with our words. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yep. Yeah, so Snurdcast back here with the uh, Colt Cannon. Oh, I see you out there, bro. Got the goggles on today. These are my review goggles. Got got the snurd goggles. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are. I rather <laughs> snurd goggles. I don't know why I like wearing these so much. I have no idea. One day I was super drunk and I put these on and I recorded a video of me rapping and I just loved how they looked and all. That. <laughs> I'm, I'm nice. gonna be sporting these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, that's dope. Though. I mean. A little retro look, I guess, but yeah. <laughs> like 2010, you, like you, you said yesterday. Yeah, you do you. By the way, this is take two, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> take two. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to be talking about Dexter, uh, the last episode of this season. Spoilers. And that's all you get. Yeah. So if you don't want to spoilers, go watch the beginning. Go away. <laughs> go watch go watch go and watch the beginning of our uh, reviews and then come there back because then you'll there be you go. up. <laughs> watch every uh, watch all nine of them and then we'll be you'll be good here's here's the link one of the, the links up here check it out and then come back and then you'll you'll know that we were right the whole time yep <laughs> basically so i guess i just want to get the big big spoiler out of the way thanks for guys by harrison yep. bro he got shot fucking how do you uh, let's just get that out of the way how, how do you feel about fucking dexter dying in this bro overall it like first time watching it i was a little upset just but because of what i said in the beginning of this these reviews that i don't want to see one of my favorite anti-heroes die but yeah. that's all that's just being a fan like that's kinda, just it's kind of uh overplayed at this point it's yeah it, like the good way to go with the evil evil character yeah, and I, but otherwise, I I think that it was fine. Like I like we reviewed it yesterday. I gave this a really high score. The, this episode was fantastic. The ender was it really did bring it into everything like that. It dude. really felt like it ended everything finally. And dude, it, by the hands of Harrison, fucking Harrison gave him the fucking the, the gun with the, that uh, with that rifle. Him. Yeah, yep. The iron. Funny rifle. enough, yeah. Funny enough, maybe maybe you said. That you would use, he would use it on Dexter or something. I don't know. Maybe. I, I did. I definitely did. I did. That was one of the things that I've been like ever since he got the gun. I remember in that whatever episode that was. I'm pretty sure we even recorded it yeah. where I was like, I bet you he ends up killing Dexter with that gun, or and then you were like, or Kurt, or Angela, but or Angela. I was kind of hoping Angela was gonna die. Mainly, uh, I'll say this before I ask you how you felt about it. Angela in that episode. The one negative about her in this episode is she really, really starts to act like Deborah. Like this is the episode where she's a lot <laughs> like Deborah's character, and I, I don't like that because I don't like Deborah. I never uh, have. Funny enough, uh, when she goes, when she says "fuck," when she calls like she, when she discovers all the bodies, yeah, uh, and then she comes back up to talk to radio the uh, the other officer, and she's like, "Have you heard it from Logan?" He's like, "No." When she said "fuck." It even sounded like uh, Deborah when she goes, it, fuck. She was like, yeah, fuck. I wonder it, if that's it, like a like it, something it, they it, put in or it, it even sounded like it her when she said fuck when they were sitting at the table with Dexter and she and he told her about all the bodies. Yeah, yeah it, when she was like, fuck, and she yeah. got up, I was like, this is like a Deborah number two. Like, this is so it, weird. It pretty, yeah, it pretty much is. dude. How do you feel about the ender with Dexter dying? I, I liked it. It was good. Um predictable but it was it good. was predictable uh i i don't have any quarrels with it i honestly uh i told you this before i told you this yesterday actually i would rather have it uh been where dexter gets arrested and then harris at least old man harrison whether he's a killer or not maybe i'd rather have be, been a killer yeah but killer or not it would have been cool to see like okay they took the the normal way out but i i don't think they could have done that because i totally forgot the if they went to trial, because I know we had a big quarrel about this yesterday, yeah. and we could talk about it more. But if they went to trial, that Dexter, if he did lose, he would get the death penalty. So that, I guess that yeah. would work. It would either way, he would have died in that case. Um, but uh, it, going on that theory, I was thinking about this earlier. What would have been really cool is if that happened, you know? And then at the end credits, instead of it being Harrison driving in the truck away, 
the end credits was all like the courtroom and newspaper footage of uh, Dexter's trial. Ooh. And it was like uh, over 300 victims or whatever the case, because he he killed hundreds, he said. And then Harrison just keeps on getting older as he's driving the same truck. No, I'm just kidding. Now, <laughs> hey, that would have been kind of dope. <laughs> like a time lapse. No, nah, yeah, that, it, it, all in all, it was good. I do have like a few, like I realized after we did the review yesterday that a lot of my issue with this mainly this this show uh, the one little issue mainly with this episode i mean is just the predictability of it how predi yeah. predictable a lot of it was um dexter dying harrison being the one who killed him with the rifle um uh, just him getting arrested now i did say in the last review not the one we did for this but the one for episode nine that i thought maybe that we were being misled about dexter being arrested clearly that wasn't the case so especially when he killed logan which dude, which is <clears throat> which is one of my least favorite parts but it, it was necessary too. yeah which yeah. the whole time like dexter was being hella nice to logan too and like you're you're a good man logan and logan didn't even like he kind of just got thrown into it because he doesn't he doesn't know because uh you know they're they're on pretty much on good terms and i feel bad for logan because this whole time he was kind of like strung around by, by yeah. everybody you know he, he was, was yeah he was used he, by the the kind of he was kind of used by not used but you know what i mean the chief was kind of hard on him sometimes and <clears throat> another thing <clears throat> so we talked about this there are a few plot holes yeah with this show um Mainly the concept, we talked about it already, even just now with the Logan thing, where it was like him killing him felt very rushed. Like you said, he was he was panicked yeah. um, in the last review. You were saying he was panicked, which makes sense. Another plot hole, which I don't know if it's really a plot hole, but it's just annoying that they did this. And I was I thought about this today was the was the Molly kill. We never got to see the Molly kill. Yeah, I was, I was I, hoping I, they would explain that. I guess it was supposed to. OK, you saw her. Yeah, stuff was in the motel, so obviously he got her in the motel, and or yeah, she's, I, she's I, he said the, the the yeah the storekeeper just said that she just left, so he just yeah and he must right have before Christmas yeah. must have nabbed her. He just yeah. nabbed her and killed her, like which is like I said, I don't understand. Like I don't understand why they did that. Um, another thing is uh, another plot hole I was thinking of. Now I'm not. For anybody wondering, I gave this show a super high review. Like overall, the episode was phenomenal. The ender was phenomenal. And the overall show for me is a strong, I'll change mine to a nine because I originally said nine five. I'll say a nine now thinking back or thinking about it more thoroughly. But like, there's a few of those instances. Another thing we never got why, like how Kurt, like any reasoning why Kurt did what he did. Like it, it, it was just. Oh, he had a father, but then that was yeah. kind of uh, now. I like it. I love that killer. I love that concept of how they wrote great that actor. character and a great actor. I forget his, his name. name. I'll put it up on the screen, but yeah, yeah, he he's super he's super famous, but um, fun phenomenal actor. He's a he, actor. super act, good actor. Killed he it. was he literally, literally and figuratively, <laughs> yeah. Um, but overall, the there were a few little things that like I would bitch about, but they're only gripes because I'm a fan. Because I liked yeah. it a lot. And let's be real too. Uh I think you were saying this yesterday. Uh the whole the whole show in general is kind of like like the, even the older seasons, there it's kind of you could tell what's gonna happen. Like yeah. especially in the earlier seasons, like, oh, obviously this is gonna happen or this is yeah. gonna happen. Um they there's were, only there's a few surprise moments that happen that yeah. I can think of. One of them I'll just say right off the rip is in season four. Spoilers um, already, so yeah, we well, already said spoilers. So <laughs> yeah, so if you haven't seen it, yeah, it's on you. But in season yeah. four, when Rita dies, that was yeah. one of the very first times where I was he, like, holy Because he shit. got him too. He got Trinity and he was coming home and he's like, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> About to go to fucking Honey, Cancun or whatever. I'm home. <laughs> and fucking fuck the shit out of my wife and fucking chill with my son Harrison. Yep. And then he's just like, oh. Yeah, he gets all fucked up. Yeah, yeah. that that uh that was but for your j just to prove your point. That, yeah. yeah, very few yeah. times in this show are you surprised, surprised. Yeah. There's one thing too, uh it, I want to bring up though, just real quick, but that I wish that would have they would have gone a little more into, but it was just a little flashback. But uh, uh they did bring back Batista. I called it. Yeah, and they, you did. You hella hit that. I just wish they the did. Head. I just uh, wish they would have like at least met face to face or something. Yeah, that I, I that's what I was hoping for. 
um again you know that one of my gripes about that was the whole like the look, look the, yeah the whole look 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 thing i i literally was my like my girlfriend used to call it like oh it's look <laughs> I, think somebody, I think somebody called her that like that or like she says like my name's look or something yeah. like in the first season maria jose harone <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's maybe it's funny enough. Maybe it's even an angel, but I swear, like in the first like season, somebody calls her like Lequeta, and we were yeah. like, we're always like Lequeta. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I um, I would have liked to see Angel have a face to face with Dexter. That would have been awesome. I I, <clears throat> I it's funny but because you, oh, go on, go on. No, go on, please. Well, I was just gonna continue what you're actually saying a second ago about the how you didn't like the. LaGuerta's theory. How well, you- no, yeah, my my main thing. So in the show, when it happens, um, they're trying to book Dexter, and Angel has a moment of like, I'm bringing all my files up, you know, be, to get there, and we're gonna we're gonna book him, and it's kind of like, no, there was never any solid evidence. Like, I, like I don't. The, you brought up the blood slide thing, but the blood slides that they For had, the Doomsday Killer, right? Tom um, son. was that when they found him again because they found him twice didn't they yeah they found him uh, once for dokes <laughs> yeah for, yeah from dokes well, that, like that, then, he, he pretty much framed dokes or like he got like he they yeah they, everybody concluded that dokes was the something like that it's yeah, yeah. I watched he he, fr- he framed dokes he put yeah. the he they found the blood slides in dokes trunk when he went to that's another right. country that's and right. then and then it just Dexter, kind of worked out yeah, and then Dexter dumped his knives in the bay right, off of a dock, and then they found those and everything like tied back to um, Batista. I mean, uh, to Dokes because of like I guess Dokes had like a like a war history, like an army history, and yada yada like yada. A mercenary or some shit. Some yeah, weird. then I I seem to remember that there was something about a butcher like in his past, like his dad was a butcher or something. Every, yeah. Everything like worked out perfect. In other words, so when they were like talking about booking him. To the bay harbor case i was like there's a lot of like like if he's here like yeah. oh if this happens this will happen if that'll ha-. that was my when i was watching the show the episode 10 and season 9 i was really worried that they were gonna go that angle because then i was gonna be sitting there like how is any of this holding up they can't even book him for for matt for killing yeah. matt like and they know it they know none if of it's gonna stick me and- even said like with even that they're like showing up like what the hell because we both kept on pushing uh like where to see uh, checking where like where it is like every five minutes i was like yeah oh okay how much time is left okay 50 minutes oh, oh, okay 30 minutes oh my god okay yep. 20 minutes what's going on what do you do uh you know what I Dude, mean? <laughs> it, it was so it, it was very uh suspenseful th- yeah, this episode and I, and I like that a lot um despite my gripes about some of the writing i i do think that this is probably the best show of the t- end of 2021 and a really good way to start 2022 especially with covid that it's really nice to finally get that ender that that closure that closure yeah. for that season that series um because even if you love her or hate season eight and it how it ended regardless if you like the show you still wonder but then what happened yeah you know what i mean and this show really did a good job of this season did a great job of closing everything up Dude, yeah, I, I like the way they uh, c- circled around and like just ended up fucking. Oh man, honestly, they, I couldn't. I couldn't have said it better myself, bro. <laughs> I like it. I, I also uh, like all the. You brought this up earlier, but I love all the callbacks to the previous seasons. Like one example at the very end when he goes to shoot Dexter, he Harrison literally screams at Dexter, "Look at what you've done!" And Dexter has a moment of a flashback of seeing all the innocent people he's killed. And Oops. that's what Dexter used to always. Young ass Ted, bro. Yeah, and that's what that's Dexter. What used, that's what used Dexter used to always scream at people with all yeah. the pictures. And so, I mean, I thought that was awesome. Yeah, and uh, funny enough, too, uh, since we're talking about Dexter getting shot again, he had him meet up with uh, Harrison. He had Harrison meet up with him at the original spot where he, the elk died, and where Kyle killed him. Or where he Matt, at least Matt. like yeah we're we're see we both do that yeah you know, we both do fuck? it it's I don't so know weird. man I don't we're know ma- <laughs> we're, we're back we're back <laughs> it's like it's like the character we're, needs we're, to be Kyle <laughs> right it's weird it's fucking weird it's like we made that shit up fucking subconsciously it's so fucking weird bro <laughs> yeah <laughs> like we just decided that no that character's name is Kyle <laughs> <laughs> no, like, what the hell? and we did it for like seven episodes. <laughs> For real, where Dexter ended up uh, capturing Matt, 
and the deer died. That's where he had Harrison meet him. And dude, the way when they showed him running, I thought it was so dope because it was a callback for like when he's when he was running yeah. and he was chasing after the prey in a sense because he never really wanted to kill the animal as he just found it majestic. Yeah. And um, but at that point when he was running, I think it at least what I think in the show when they showed him that doing that it was like a callback that he is now the prey like so dope. he knows what so that predator dope. is and you know what i mean I it's just that. like getting chased and in the end he died exactly right where the majestic animal died too you know what i mean the, with the animal that he found majestic and he was also uh um he he said you did good to harrison which was yeah. pretty crazy and then also uh deborah was there yeah, last holding, moments holding his hand and uh, i know you, you i know you're, it's not deborah's not your favorite character so you're probably yeah. like whatever but uh I, I would really love to have seen deborah in dexter's eyes as he's talking to as he's telling harrison to you know what i mean take Do off it. the trigger like i would i would love i would love to see like if there's like a Her reaction like I, I would feel like she was the one who was kind of like just do it dex just let go or something and because he said he never felt real love like this till now. So yeah. he never, even with never. Deborah, yeah, never felt that that closeness and it's or, like his, or and with Rita too. But exactly, but yeah. um, I feel like Deborah couldn't let Dexter go, and I think Harrison being able to kind of like let Dexter go, I think Dexter was just, that's why he felt true love because you know what I mean. Like he had that moment of release. Exactly. Like I love that because Deborah couldn't do it, and he yeah. loved Deborah, and that was the closest thing to him, and that's what made him fucking leave and everything. But at the same yeah. time, he was still killing people and doing all that. You know what I mean? Like he could never stop. Yeah. And he was. Uh, and then this is kind of what I was uh, probably didn't explain very well <laughs> yesterday, but I feel like from episode one to ten, he was just kind of on a teeter totter of like he just he just wants to. Be, at this point in his life, I would say at least he's just kind of unstable and he just wants to murder. Yeah. He wants to I, just, and then Harrison even says the dark passenger isn't a passenger it's a driver. Yeah. Like it's all you like it's yeah. yeah like I love that. I love the, uh, I, I think you're a hundred percent right about the prey thing about him being like the prey now uh, in that scene. And I think that that that's the thing this whole season did really good was those creative little writing moments and yeah. those creative moments of dialogue that were like, kind of like poking the bear like almost yeah, exactly. like you see what's going to happen <laughs> uh, but it's not enough information and like <laughs> like with like the the between kurt and dexter in the diner that was a b scene and then it happened again at angela's house between kurt and dexter and when he yeah when he's like that or he <laughs> says that he's like when throughout the show throughout the show there's a couple times when um after dexter picked up kurt when he was drunk he goes he he literally is like was it snowing that day and he goes i don't think so and he goes and he does it again was it snowing that day and then finally where he goes it wasn't snowing that day but it was because of the ash in the air yeah. i love that like and then that's right after uh uh harris or uh kurt killed that one dude too or killed the that one uh runaway chick from uh, yeah. the first episode yeah that's right yeah that's right and th that's this show like it really uh, yeah and another thing was uh, speaking on that the girl with the the big tits you yeah. know um i was i was on your i was with you on it i was kind of upset we didn't see how he fixed her face in the the room because i would have loved to see that yeah probably uh like just uh, maybe if we rewatch it maybe he did something with her that we just didn't catch but either that well, because or... he remember he started like pounding her fucking face in at the end so he probably just disposed of the body maybe same okay. way he did uh, the same way he did uh angela's sister or angela's best friend i think he took the idea from uh dexter because didn't he say it was, didn't he didn't he say something that he used it or something like because he did the same thing oh yeah oh yeah because he was like good idea with the with the furnace but too bad here's a science lesson titanium doesn't melt yeah i think you're right i think you're right so he probably put it in the furnace oh that's crazy. Maybe, maybe I don't know. We got. I gotta rewatch this thing and my, make my, sure. My girl's on season uh, four right now, and I was like, "You're like all one of the best seasons," uh, and I can't so wait. It starts to ramp up and get. It, it throws a curveball, especially for that character. Yeah, season four to five is fucking nuts. Like, yeah. I, like I wasn't a big fan of six, even though Colin Hanks is in it. 
Um, and he, I mean, he's a great actor. It's just, it was that uh, season six to me and seven were like the worst seasons, but, um, it, it's nice that we still got all those callbacks in this, in this season. And I definitely love that, how that influenced the writers to be more creative about writing Kurt's stuff, the way that Kurt approached everything. Kurt, he was, um, yeah. It was beast. And I also, I love the little, the little ramp up to Dexter and Harrison being close. And I said it in episode, I think it was eight or nine. I think it was nine because that's when he killed Kurt. I was like, I think something's going on with Harrison. Like, he's not feeling this. He's like, just a little off. He was off that whole fucking time. It was like he was thinking his dad's Batman. And it's like, <laughs> exactly. I, I don't know why he painted that picture for him like that. And I, but again, we got closure finally. So it's nice to know that Harrison isn't like Dexter for sure. And Dexter sometimes, sometimes he does go off the rails because yeah. fucking you've seen him. There's a, I, all I remember is where the, the one where he goes on uh, a road trip and he just kills some like random dude because yeah. he like gypped him or something. Yeah. He goes on the road trip and he's imagining his brother, Brian, the ice truck killers with and him. He fucks that chick. At he the, fucks uh, that chick at the gas station and yeah. steals her Magnum and starts shooting it randomly down the highway. Um, I love that. That's like one of my favorite moments in the show. Also, another moment where he goes off the rails is when um, Rita dies. And in the first episode of season five, it's right after Rita's dead. And he goes to that bathroom and he kills that guy. And he like fucking starts bashing his head in. And like um, Harrison I think you even brought this up before. <laughs> I, did, I just I love I, I I think that if anything, You're like I love that scene. <laughs> well, I, I think that I, I think that supports your theory of the teeter tottering. Yeah. In this season, where it's like you can totally see that same character from season five who was upset about Rita dying in season nine, where he's like just kind of on the rails the whole time. Yeah, man. So good. Just, it is. It, it's good. Uh, I, can we talk about Angela, though? Yeah. Angela, she she was spot on, bro. It took her like five episodes, but she got it, bro. <laughs> Oh my God! She yeah, she got it. She, she and it was cool seeing what I loved. Okay, so I don't want to keep saying the same shit again. Everybody knows that I don't like Deborah, and also I don't like the fact that they based Angela like on Deborah's what that what it seems it like seemingly. Seems like, but yeah. It, it, yeah, it just seems. I'm not no. I don't know if that's true, but no, it's we talked about that in like the first like three episodes. We it certainly we that. Yeah. yeah, it certainly seems like it. But what I really, really loved about this, it's about her in this season, what was what you just explained. I love seeing all the cop work from her because that's like the first time where I actually seen a cop character in this show acting like a cop. Was in, she was very invested and she and once she found out that Jim wasn't, uh, you know what I mean? His name it was actually Dexter. That's when yeah. she like completely separated the boyfriend aspect from if he uh, just hadn't tried to fucking him. kill that drug dealer if yeah. he had just not poked him in the neck yep. it, it, none of this would have happened it's so cool it's yeah. i love that i i like i always love when you look at a show it doesn't she matter did the fucking leg work bro dude she did and she took the photo she was building a real case there see now that would support the theory of the evidence where early like in this it, review and the last review where i was like they didn't have evidence the one thing that they certainly had was all those photos of the needle marks, the the wheel marks as they call what, them. What's funny too is uh, those like when you watch, like when you think about the whole show in general, those are such minor parts. They're literally like all together. Like her doing like her investigation is probably really just like like seven minutes. Yeah, an episode minutes. maybe. Yeah, you know what I mean. Besides her going to New York and talking to Batista, other than yeah. that. Everything else is like, you know what I mean? Like two minutes per episode, like a minute and a half. And, and, and every time she would get a little closer, like she was literally right. like, she was like Hansel and Gretel finding bread come, bread crumbs. <laughs> exactly. I said, I said bread comes, but bread crumbs. <laughs> I, 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 I love German, I, so I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love that. I, 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 like I said, this Angela was amazing. It, 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 despite my, my difference with the writing with her, um, I also really liked her uh, protecting Harrison, seeing that Harrison did the right thing. And she's like, you're not like him. Go like yeah. it, And here's money. And then you pointed out that you think he even had the money from Kurt. So, oh yeah, yeah. He did have the money from Kurt. So he pretty much so. could have done whatever, but it's, cra it's crazy to think what a, 
you know what I mean? Like a 17 year old would do. Well, he's probably going to, my guess is he's going to go to LA. If we're talking hypothetically here, it, just like do you what said, his, his dad wanted him to or something. Or like yeah, had the plan. And, and I wouldn't be surprised now. I hope this doesn't happen. I really don't want to see a series about Harrison like at all. Um, but I would bet that if they did do that, it would be based in LA or, or, or back in Miami. But I would hope that they don't, I, I want this just to end so that people have like this amazingly um, long series. That's awesome. You know? Yeah. Well, I don't, I, I, I hope they never do. So yeah. In well, my, if, it, if it had ended, like you said, I would be about it because then I would be like, do a darkly dreaming Harrison. They could they could fill in the gaps between then and that, or like you know what I mean. Make a That'd whole be series so between dope. That'd him be growing so up dope. and everything. Make it like I'd two like or three that. seasons and yeah, <laughs> sure. or yeah, or just do yeah, yeah, do a limited series where it's like two, maybe three seasons, but say it's limited. Like, yeah. don't try to recreate eight seasons or nine seasons. <laughs> exactly. Or- don't yeah, um, yeah, dude, fucking. Uh, one of the things also about Angela, though, uh, I really like that she, like how she pressed Dexter, though, and she, <laughs> she really didn't give him a chance, bro. No, no, Not dude. one it, chance. She, I, she took. She even called Logan in for backup. Yeah, dude. Beast mode. I, I won't lie. Beast mode. And I, again, this is another moment where she really shines as a character, showing off the the police footwork. Yeah, I wonder what the role play was like because she was like. Fucking remember she had to push him. She's like, hands on your back. And he's yeah. like, you brought this role play to the next level. <laughs> she was like, fucking do it, Jim. Well, because I mean, remember because she would always pull him over and Ooh. they would fuck. And then uh, th- my favorite that has like one of my favorite lines actually in this whole uh, series this whole season. Cause I say it to my girlfriend now all the time. But uh <laughs> when when she pulls him over, when she's suspicious of, when she finds out his real name's Dexter. And she's like, license and registration. He's like, yes, mistress. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Dude, dude. Mind being dominated, huh? Yeah, dude. He's <laughs> a he's serial like killer. Doesn't mind being dominated, huh? They a BDSM. <laughs> Maybe shit, that bro. should be like a uh, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look into that. <laughs> Aside from Dexter, because it is about Dexter. Who are like two of your favorite characters in this season? What you said besides Dexter. Yeah, you can't say Dexter, like, because that's an obvious one. Because like, yeah. it's about Dexter and it, like obvious. But in this season, who are like two favorite, like one or two straight. favorite characters? First one comes straight to my mind, Kurt. Yes, that's one of mine too. Kurt is is definitely just the whole. The he was basically an old Dexter. Yeah, you know what I mean. And um, uh, hmm. I, I, I'll I'll throw one in there my because uh, you said my first one. I was gonna say Logan because of the relationship between Logan and Harrison, but I actually Angela. After what you just said about all the footwork, I was like, I actually really liked it, even though she's based on Deborah seemingly. Um, I I like I like that character. Like I I think that the show really did well with her as that that I actually like the uh, the character in the second episode, the forensic file guy. I, uh, no, I'm, just <laughs> I I'm a little sad he didn't have a bigger role. Like I'm uh, sad he didn't have no, a bigger role. <laughs> I, I know, right? Uh, I'm no, that's a good that's a good choice, man. Um, I, I honestly don't know because I would maybe I would maybe say Logan, but I mean, there's not not a lot of supporting characters it's just it's yeah. kind of like based around but um I yeah mean, it's Aud- really Aud- it's Aud- it's really Audrey all about was, dexter uh, and kurt audrey was just kind of like this the uh, the support character for harrison agreed agreed and i'm um, i don't know what the hell happened to that other dude in the first episode in the first two episodes the rich guy the billionaire. yeah the one yeah the one who pulled them over or when yeah, they were so pulled, yeah that's i think that so was just weird. a curveball just to i think so us. too yeah, i think just, so too but it was so unnecessary because if he was involved, like further seasons, like if he was like still going around doing stuff, that would have made more sense. But after he left and you found out who the killer was, it was just kind of like, okay, like yeah, that was pointless. Know. Yeah, it was fucking pointless. Like there were a couple characters in this series that were, hole. yeah. See, and that's exactly and they. I again, phenomenal season, but there yeah. are those plot holes that are like. You guys like you don't. Ex- it, it, it's almost like you said. It's like either they did it as a curveball, or they just didn't think it all the way through. 
when yeah. they were like, I, I, I am. I also want to give credit. I imagine when you're writing a show with multiple characters like Dexter, a caliber of De the caliber I'm of trying Dexter, to rewrite what like the whole fan base hated. <laughs> yes, I, I imagine it's that it's tough. real hard to fucking keep a lot track. Of pressure. Yeah, and so uh, give credit where credit is due. With Definitely. that said. There only being a few plot holes is. Pretty I think good. we said this too. I, I think we we're like, if it, it would take us like a few months to think of something that comes close to this. Yeah, if that... dude, dude, trust me, I've tried it with comic books. Like it's <laughs> fucking hard, bro. It's hard. It, it's. I mean, it's fun. It's cool. Um, but they they it, the good news is that they had the framework that for the season that they yeah. they knew that they were like, let's just build on the foundation of an already amazing thing. They had that going for them. But I'll say this, that this is like the best version of a old show getting one more season that I've seen. Because a good example is any Star Trek fan and fans out there from the original with not not with William Shatner, but with uh, Picard. I see you, Josh. <laughs> I see you wearing but, those glasses. <laughs> but the show, Picard, I, huh? I, I think it's Star Trek. Um, I think it's uh, Star Trek Enterprise is the one with uh, Sir Patrick Stewart. You know, yeah. but anyways, my whole point is they made another Star Trek show based on him. It's called Picard, and it's not nearly as good as what not, they did. It, nowhere near the original. What's, what's the one? Uh, the one that's like a like our generation Star Trek is a Star oh, Trek. Uh, um, you're thinking with the girl captain would be our generation. Um, what's the one with the uh, Patrick? Stewart? That's that's the one I'm saying. That's oh, what yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 that's the one yeah, I'm talking that about. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah that bad. one's. I'm, I'm not a Star Trek dude, so I don't no, know. no, I know. I I I love all the Star Trek. What? But... Nerd guy doesn't know fucking <laughs> Star Trek. <laughs> well, in your defense, it's not like the new movies were all that good. Um, For whatever reason, my brother knows a lot about it. So <laughs> I I, lo I love Star Trek. I do, but it's but I just I remember watching that. it. I just never like found out the lore or anything. Yeah, I, once you get like into it, it's good. But my whole point is. That when they remade that, they didn't remake it. It was just a continuation, just like Dexter New Blood is. It just didn't hit the marker the same way that watching Dexter the way they did with New Blood. New Blood was like literally, it felt like season nine. Like it did not feel like season one of a whole new thing. It felt like season nine. And like, I, that says a lot. Dude. That's, that's hard. Dude. So what? What do you give this? Uh, I know you said it earlier, but overall, what do you give this season? You know, I keep doing this, but it's because you've made some good points. Um, I'm going to stick with what I said earlier. I'm going to give it a nine because, a nine? I, I, yeah, I, because I think that the plot holes is an issue. And then um, the predictability is what stopped it from being like almost a perfect 10. Like if, if they had maybe made it more surprising and they like, I think if they would have kept the, those dudes that were talking about the rich guy, the other rich guy, just, yeah. just have them in, like, just come in like a couple random times. Just be like, well, why are you coming in here when people are dying? Like every time you come here, somebody disappears. You know what I mean? Like that add like a little I'd, more suspense to that to be like, and okay, also, there's... also what would have upped my, my thing just out of my this is a pure bias by the way this is not any reflection of anything other than my own opinion um i would have liked to see more of a native american presence the native american yeah. presence i would have liked them to explore that more they introduced um, in, a lot and then just they kinda, did it just kind of it was like three episodes and maybe it was you're done. right dude maybe they did kind of like they had a story going for like the first like four episodes and then they're like uh, you need this now, and there he's like, oh, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's just some, some, not all of it, but some of it feels a little rushed. It, it yeah. just it, but a nine I is see fucking now, amazing. Like, looking back, yeah, yeah, but a nine is really good. Like that that's... means recommended, which I get. I'll give it an eight point five, and I said that uh other time too. And only reason I gave, I would give it a higher score if they would have done like something different with the ending, just like. I would love to have seen what Harrison was like, just just a little sneak of like yeah. 10 years from now or like 15 years from now, just like him with his family or even just like five years from now, like just just some some sort of sort of like, uh, I guess that would defeat the perfect purpose because it's not about Harrison. It's yeah. about Dexter, but it would it'd yeah, be cool cause... to see some kind of like. I, I just wanted a surprise. Five second, like it, like a little five. Yeah, exactly. A surprise, like a little five yeah. second surprise, ten second surprise, and just let the fans decide whatever. 
like is he is he this is is it like that like you know what I, mean? I agree I keep agree that, 100%. keep it keep it keep it in that good mystery where it's just like it's concluded with Dexter but yeah there's still possibility yeah. Yeah, like kind of thing you know like I know what you're fiction <laughs> I see I I agree um eight five is a more realistic one my main thing about giving it a the such a high one the other thing is I'm just super happy to see them actually put love into this and yeah. that's like like if for example um and I won't talk too much about this just as an example to Dexter the, it deserves a nine to me, uh, eight five to a nine at least, like eight point five to a nine, right? Because I know how, like, as the show airs and people binge watch it, you'll watch its high score drop because people binge watched it, and so then they I'm get not burnt. A little subtleties and everything. Yeah, and they'll get they won't pay attention or they'll start making dinner while it's on. Or, but, and a perfect example of this is Spider Man No Way Home. When that movie first came out, it was like 9.1 on IMDb. Now, everybody has seen it. It's at an 8.8. .8, and I'm like, it's kind of annoying because the first impression of that movie, everybody was like, that's damn near a perfect movie. Yeah. It's like almost there. Um, it, it, it like it's what I'm trying to say is I hate to see the opinion of something go down just because a whole bunch of people have now watched it. And um, now that it's all also out, do the opposite effect, dude, where it's just like everybody watched it and liked it. And then <laughs> I hope so. Well, let's see. It aired yesterday. So all then, the episodes are out, some, right? So, yeah. But then sometimes people will come back and watch it or and be like, oh, this, 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 this sucks. Like, <laughs> yeah. And so uh, that my that's my whole point. Oh, oh, I was looking. I wanted to look up one thing before we ended this. So but so just to also go back to my rating score. <laughs> <laughs> So right now it's in at an eight point six. The whole season, or the the whole season in, of Dexter New Blood, just oh, New that, Blood, that's, New Blood. That's I mean, pretty good. That's pretty much our score. Yeah, yeah. That's so. <laughs> if, I but I just put it into say, a fucking ratio. That'd be our score, pretty much. I just want to say though. Now we know that it's eight point six. Now with the Spider Man No Way Home theory that I said, mm -hmm. it's gonna. I'll be super annoyed that if that goes down to a seven, just because in like a start, month. Yeah, because more people seen it. That's why that's what all I'm trying to say is that's why I rate it so high, because I'm like, in reality, this show is an eight, five to a nine, like it, depending on who you are. Yeah. Um, I just I mean, you it, have to know the Dexter lore and everything. But yeah, if you're a Dexter fan, this is definitely going to be in like recommend. Yeah, dude. Eight point six out of ten. And that's fifty one thousand reviews. So uh, fifty one thousand people Sheen. rated it. No, so <laughs> that's pretty. That's actually really good. Um. But hey, I recommend it. Highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, uh, watch it. Binge watch it. Even if you, if even if you want to do that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, you got to pay attention though. If you binge it, you just got to pay attention. Agreed. You can't just fucking have it in the background because you're just gonna this, miss everything. That's the one biggest thing that is different from this season than all the others. You actually have to pay attention to everything, or you'll miss all the little what I would refer to as love notes to the fans. Exactly. You know. Um, so yeah, I guess, uh, is there anything else you want to add, bro? No, I, like I said, man, I, other than those little quarrels and everything, I, I love the show. I, I'm, I'm a fucking Mark for Dexter. So definitely, I, I yeah. definitely appreciate this season. Me too. And I, I am would love, I, I can't wait till I am able to rewatch, rewatch the whole season from beginning to this season and see how it all kind of uh, comes together and stuff and agreed and what we might have missed exactly for uh, for everything That's check so out the funny. channel uh got a lot of stuff more dexter content um more dexter content coming in the future i'm pretty sure because we both love this stuff we both love yeah. talking about this so i'm sure we're gonna be talking about this more probably, uh, we'll probably end up re-watching it too and then yeah. and then wanting to talk again if there's anything that we miss in this whole series just let us know in any video or just let let us know um yeah, uh, check out the description. Got info. Got this dude, Colt Cannon. God damn it. <laughs> Where are you? I, 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 yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Colt Cannon. Check out the description. For Colt <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> got a lot of stuff. Uh, got a lot of stuff in the making. Uh, I, I, I got the I got the info, so make sure to check out the channel. You might fucking find some shit out. You know, what hey, I mean? <laughs> right? might find some shit out. That should be the quote of this channel. <laughs> you might find some shit out. Uh, you guys be safe. You guys be good. Happy New Year. Still, uh, I know it's been a while, but still, hey, have a good year. 
Uh, guys, be safe. Snurdcast. Ow.